And so now they'll call on anger to punt the football. Wants to give it a go here. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. The Seahawks love this type of play. Of course, everybody would. When you get a good punt return, that's what you want. And, of course, it helps when you have an explosive punt return back there. This series begins for the offense with a very good chance to score. The Seahawks have it at the 24. The ball is charged loose. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. Second down. Wilson split out wide on the left. They motioned the receiver around to the other side. Wilson's going to scramble. Connects with Graham. Well, don't look at the scoreboards, which tells you you're down by a couple scores. Just concentrate on every single play and try to get another first down. Wilson's completion percentage, 60% on the day. Coming up to the line at the seven. Look out, they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. Graham's tackled down after a gain of two. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third goal. If the play's not there, throw it away. Do not force the action. Third and goal from the five. Another third down failure. The offense back on the field here for this fourth and four. D-line is shifting inside. They're pinching. I think they're expecting a run up the middle. Wilson's got it in the gun. And that's a touchdown. And they inch closer. That time on fourth and goal, the offense goes for it. The defense is all excited. They want to try to stop them. And they make bad mistakes and give up the touchdown. The Seahawks with an extra point try on the way. Makes the PAT. The Jags are ready to return the kick. He'll have a chance to take off. And he's tackled right at the 30-yard line after that return. The Jaguars offense comes back onto the field. Let's see if they can move the chains this time because the last possession was ugly. They weren't out there very long. But Jim, you know how I think in situations like this, I think it's more up to the coach than the players. Call a play that really catches the defense off guard so you can get an easy gain and get the momentum on your side and get it rolling. Two minutes to go in the second half. Almost to the 40 at the 39-yard line. Second and short. Hand off out of the eye. Robinson's met after a gain of 13. The Jaguars really got it going now. They got confidence. They got momentum. They got a small lead here in the second half. And that first down, what does it do? It just gives the offensive coordinator confidence. And, of course, this quarterback, he is always ready to go. They call his name again. 
Well, we know you can win the game, but just running the football, then you just run the football. Take no chances. Keep two hands around it at all times, and don't worry about the extra yard. This will be second down. Robinson's got on the handoff. And gains maybe four. The Seahawks stop the clock in a hurry, trying to hold on to every precious second. They're trying to confuse the offense here. Look at everybody crowd the line of scrimmage. The Jaguars have it at the 44. They feed it to him one more time. That's a gain of six. Jim, that's just playing it by the book. You got the lead, and you want to keep the clock moving, so what do you do? You run the football. When you're in the huddle, as a quarterback in this type of situation, you just tell everybody two things. Stay in bounds and put two hands on the football. To the line at the 40-yard line. It was a 